YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella. Goodfella Neil coming through with my weekly seven sneaker rotation. Sun Sunday is the seventh day. Monday is the first day. So sometimes my sneaker rotations, it might not be completely seven because sometimes I wore the sneaker more than once. So I've probably been awarded the second day or something like that. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not a long video. I just want to hurry up and get this out to you guys. And uh, thanks for the subs. Thanks for watching and all that stuff. And a thousand subs. Again, still another benchmark to me and my channel. So, first thing first. Monday, day number one for my weekly seven. I end up rocking the Yeezy 500 joints. And that is the... Damn, what the hell is this colorway? Anyway, they black. But, yeah. These joints right here. And that's what I wore for Monday. Tuesday, I also end up wearing these as well. So this is a sneaker I wore twice this week. I mean, when you think about it, though, man, like the comfort level and the Addy Preem, that's different. The Addy Preem, you know, is definitely there. Is it a good substitution for boosts, like fully? Not really. But, you know, if Adidas really didn't have nothing else, in the, in, the, in the arsenal after the boost and all that stuff you know if they had like a contract or whatever whatever that's you know that's what i'm hearing or whatever you know i thought they actually owned boost outright but you know maybe not so in case they don't the id the addy the id preem is okay it definitely do like as far as comfort though so that's what i wore for monday and tuesday the Adidas Yeezy 500. So, Wednesday, I just want to switch it up. I brought uh, some some bright color. Uh, I think this is my only yeah, this is my only bright shoe really for this week. And I like to call these the Fresh Prince, the Fresh Prince Hirachis. Man, you know this is not specifically made for him. This is just a um, another GR random colorway that I got like last year that I actually like. Man, crazy fly flames and you know this is just classic to me the the, sh the when i first got them and i already did a re review on them the shoe strings in them first made them like look plain and i'm like why does it look so plain i mean you got the nice 90s popping pink right here you got the nacho cheese yellow you got the cement print at the bottom with the speckles and this okay gray right here it's just a light gray and the quality on these is not really the best, but most importantly though, making them pop with the green, that 90s green. I specifically wanted these color uh, laces because I felt like that would complement the sneaker and make it better. Um, I don't know, now I'm thinking about some rope laces that's this color that maybe go through here. But nevertheless though, I like these, man. Definitely fly, definitely flames. You're not gonna see everybody with these. Let alone still, maybe a regular people still rocking Harajis here and there, but not of that caliber. So, next up, Thursday, I end up rocking these joints right here. You know, I want to reach back into the archives of this year and actually just wear a sneaker that maybe people was wearing at the top of this year or, or something like that. Maybe the later part of uh, last year or early part of this year, whatever, whatever. When these was definitely kind of like the flamers of the moment, um, I want the rock them. Definitely a comfortable sneaker. Definitely got like a cleat kind of like looking vibe at the bottom of them. And, you know, when you step on solid surfaces, that's the only time you might be able to hear them sometimes as far as like the bottom. But this is the Nike Air Max 95 colorway. This is the Vapor Max TN and I hope, yeah, I got that right. TN, because I know sometimes, there's just so many damn models now, but the Vapor Max TN, and I like the color, the whole neon Nike Air Max 95 look. And again, you know, I got a review on this too. Uh, you know, and that's looking like a shark belly at the bottom. The bottom of a shark belly, because the whole gradient white and gray, man. Love it, crazy, fly flames. This is another one I added to sneaker laces too. Um, the regular sneaker laces was black, but they wasn't like rope laces like this. I like rope laces more. Flat laces and rope laces, so. Um, I don't know if this green is picking up completely. Like it's that lime green. So yeah, that's what I end up wearing for 
Thursday. Friday, I ended up rocking the Sockany joints. Crazy Fly Flames. This is the feature collab. I, I'm, you know, like, where the kicks, man? I mean, you know, we get so many kicks at sneaker heads, sneaker people, whatever you want to call it. And this is that feature collab. We get so many kicks, man, we just throw them in the back of the closet and damn near forget about them. Or we throw them in the collection and damn near forget about them. This is one of them unique ones that really, you know, you just didn't really want to, like, forget about. So this is one of the ones that I looked through, say, hey, I haven't worn these in a minute. Let me just wear them. I might have worn these one another sneaker week, too, or something like that. So you might see these a little, you know, a little bit more. Um, as far as, like, top 10 sneakers of this year... This definitely has a good chance to be on that. I don't know if I might do top 15 or top 10 because I definitely did pick up some heat this year. So, yeah. This is another one. Irony. The iron. I got three sneakers down here that I did lace swaps on. So, this is another one. This is not even a regular lace in it. This is actually like a water blue rope lace that I had actually got from eBay um, for the low. So, um, definitely compliments the sneaker. I love it, man. Like that water blue. You know, you're dealing with a water creature with this sneaker right here. I also think a, a, a red rope lace could have worked as well to kind of symbolize the blood, you know, of him killing the animal. But, you know, that's my imagination running with me with this, man. So, Sockany feature for Friday. Definitely what's up. Definitely flames. Did you, did, did you guys even cop this kick? I know I did a review on it, and it was like seven minutes or something like that, but... Did y'all cop this, or was it worth it, or it was just a whack colorway? I will say this, though. The, 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 the quality on here, damn near could get it top 10 alone. And I think the price is 120 so, yeah. I mean, you know, you got some of these other sneaker companies are charging like shit. Oh, man, like over 200 for sure, and it's supposed to be good quality. You know, Sockany put it down. Like, they give you quality for less. And nice collabs. Um, next one up, Saturday. I end up wearing a Nike Air Tech Challenge clay joints. Definitely fly. Definitely flames. Um, this is just one of those joints that, again, 2014. Um, this is one of the ones that I actually set outside the box that I just wanted to wear just in general. I didn't want the air bubble to get all foggy. I like this kick. It's nice and subtle. This is actually an OG colorway that came out, I think, 1990 or 91 when these originally came out, right along with the Hot Lavas. These are a little bit more subtle, but they actually do the job. It depends on you, your whole sneaker taste. If you like throwback stuff like me, this is the one. Um, if you like colors that pop, Maybe the orange, I don't know if the orange can do it enough for you. I don't know if you want the whole sneaker to pop, but this is just something subtle and everything. You can kind of, you know, you can wear this casually, obviously. Sunday, I end up rocking these joints right here. You know, after all this whole Concord talk, how many of y'all cracked out the win like 82s just real quick, man? I mean, you know, everybody going to be wearing the Concords in the next month or so or whatever, so... Why not, right? Uh, at least crack these out. I ain't saying that people don't got these, but maybe, you know, it's a good chance people probably trashed these already. Everybody and their mama about to be rocking the Concord 11s. When the bread 11s come back out, you know, everybody, mama and dad about to be wearing those. Just like with any Jordan 11, you know, basically. Because when the one like 96s came out, man, I seen those everywhere. I mean, you know, even after going on a cruise, at least like two or three dudes had on those and one guy had on the Katrina threes like you know so when a sneaker drop in that in 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 that year you know in that same year period man you know it's kind of hard to unless you really really want to you know unless you really really like the sneaker by all means you know it's a free country rock your stuff but if you don't want <laughs> if you don't if you want to stand out a little bit or whatever I wouldn't wear too much of a hype kick in the same year all like that again it's a free country you might be excited that you got the sneaker so you know i definitely feel you with that so this is what i wore on sunday the midnight navy went like nine went like 82 joints again do y'all still have these 
did y'all sell these this would definitely make a nice olympic like colorway as well when you think about the navy blue but probably gotta tweak a few hints put a little bit of gold and red on to get some usa vibes going on but other than that though man nice north carolina blue kind of like hints and accents crazy fly flames to be quite honest with you guys i haven't even worn these i know i've worn them less than 10 times since i've got them so uh as you can see my eye my soul still icy and we're starting to get a slight discoloration around right there around the ring probably too bright to see but um cop these right off the nike sneakers app and it was a day man it was a day i didn't and side note i didn't even get a chance to even cop the uh early release concord 11s on the sneaker app man you know i was just people lucky man if you if you fiddling around with your phone even when i am fiddling around with my phone man i don't never get lucky enough to even like open enough this the sneakers app daily or whatever to even think because had i been opening it daily they wouldn't have dropped i'm out peace